Yo, what's the word? It's your boy 16. If you like the content on this channel, I want to ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell for post notifications. Also, I got a website at www.16shotonvisuals.com. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get to what y'all came to see. So earlier you had spoken on, uh, I'm not sure if you was talking about yourself, you was talking about like shit that people notice, you know, around the age of 15, you had said something about uh, your father getting killed. Yeah, that was before I was 15, though. Huh. That was like, I probably was like 11, 5, 7, 11. That shit happened in 27, I mean 2011, so I was probably was like 12, 11. Hell yeah, yeah, that shit was fucked up when he got killed. I knew he got shot and killed, but I didn't know what it was about. But then when I, when, when I grew up, when I hit like seventh grade, I'm like, damn, my daddy real deal died beating a nigga ass. And the nigga went and got a gun, and you know what I'm saying? Because he couldn't take an ass whooping. That type of shit. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, how did that affect you losing your father that young? That shit fucked my head up. Cause me and my partner, like me and my daddy, like we had a connection, but it was to the point like I wanted to be more, like you know what I'm saying. That shit fuck your head up. Cause my daddy was here right now to this day. That nigga be sitting right here on mm -hmm. gang, that type shit. Yeah, that shit fuck my head up. Yeah. Like, does this did it did it affect like certain decisions you made like coming up? Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, my daddy was like my mentor, like he was a real deal street nigga, like he know the ends and I, I probably wouldn't have did certain shit I did, he probably would have told me, nah son, you need to do this shit like that, you know what I'm saying, or uh, I've been through that before, you need to do this that way, that type shit, you know what I'm saying, just a mentor type shit. For sure. Hell yeah, yeah. So you know, even though you like grown and shit now, like do you still feel like you still be needing that sometime? Uh, like that type of guidance, father figure? No, nah, not really, cause I got like friends around for that. Like I don't hang around like yes man ass, yes 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 ass nigga. Nigga gonna tell me when I'm wrong, and nigga gonna tell me when I'm right. Cause if you have a whole bunch of yes man around you, you gonna fail, bro. You need yeah. somebody to keep you level. Like oh bro, that's wrong right there, bro. You don't need to be doing that, bro. Yeah, that's the right thing. That's the right way to go, though, bro. You know what I'm saying? You need that around you though. For sure. It's yeah. crazy because some people really don't want that. Like, some people really want dick riders and shit. That be the nigga with the big care, the niggas that just feel like they need a thousand niggas around them. Yeah. 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 So, what's something you could say, like, you learned about the streets that you wish you knew before you got into it? Shit, that bullet's real, that you could die, that it ain't no rules in this shit, that these hoes will set you up. Crying me as hell, slime me as hell. It's a lot of shit, bro. You ever had a situation where like a female set you up or attempted to and you caught her? Uh, damn, how about? Hell yeah, it probably been, bro, I done been through movie shit, but no cap. <laughs> hell yeah, it probably been a situation or two. Hell yeah, yeah. So like for the shorties that's watching this, that's, that's, that's young, that's probably like thinking about jumping in this shit. Like, what advice would you give them? Uh, bro, rule number one, bro, listen to your mama, bro. And there's no cap, bro. Before in the, anything happened, my mama told me this shit was gonna happen. Like, son, that nigga not your friend. I see something in her. A son, that female slimy, don't fuck with that hoe. Like, it just, like, yo, I don't know what it is. Like, your mommy, a, she a genius, some shit. Like, yeah. listen to your mama, bro. Your OG, she ain't gonna tell you shit wrong, bro. Real shit. And then, like, keep, like, solid individuals around you. <gasps> around you type shit. You know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah, yeah. That shit true about your mama shit, because the same thing with me. Like, a lot of, like, as a shorty, all the, the friends and shit I thought I had, or the ones that she was telling me, like, oh, he gonna be trouble when he get older. Like, all that shit yeah, happened. Shit. This nigga died, this nigga in jail. That nigga died, that nigga in jail doing. But real shit, but your mama don't be wrong, bro. That's real shit. So, you know, lately, some people been like uh, comparing y'all to like the Chicago drill scene. I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm guessing it's probably like with the dissonance and shit. Like, how do you feel about the comparisons? And do you, do you see like the similarities? Or you... It is what it is, shit. Yeah. 
It is what it is, though. Like, I can see, I know why they saying that shit, because we real there not giving a fuck with what we do. It ain't no limits to this shit. Yeah. But you go to our old videos, with my old videos, I've been doing this shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Been, before it was them, it was some other niggas. I was like this, and I might be the whole city with dropping ages and fives and shit, like, you know what I'm saying? It's been that, though. Yeah, yeah. So is that like a, uh, so that's not really like a new trend out here, it's just people just catching on to it? Yeah. Yeah. That shit been going on, bro. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of people, I know they want me to ask you this, and it's about yeah. the uh, When I See You song. Like, yeah. You know, what was the reason behind it? Pause that. All right. So what was the reason behind the When I See You song? Like, was it something that you seen that made you want to make that song? Yeah, it was like, every, bro, I promise. When that song came out, everybody was like sending me suggestions and, oh, you need to remember Tana Montana. Da, 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 da. I was, I'm just sitting back reading the comments. I'm like, fuck that. Well, I ain't gonna say cut that part out. But a couple rappers called me, told me, remiss when I see you. Females, like everybody was saying, remiss Fantasia when I see you. So I was just in the studio. I'm like, I'm listening to the beat. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm fucking with it. I'm finna do this shit. I did the shit in the studio, and that shit was hard. Oh, bro, that shit was hard. So the, the song, that was more so like a response versus you just making it just on some out of the blue type shit? Yeah, yeah. It was like a response, but I already had, we already had made motherfucking um, the beatbox and the baby story remix shit. We already had did that, so shit, it was like, that shit I already had hit like three mil, so, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, that beatbox song, you was talking crazy on that shit too. Like, yeah, we was in niggas' hoods and shit for real, like, Oh yeah, ops hoods and shit like that. Middle, that in the ops hood, me and I be hanging out type shit. Uh, I thought that was y'all hood. Hell no, nah, that wasn't our shit. That was nothing. That was they shit. Yeah, yeah, that was they shit. So you know, after after hearing the dislike towards you, like, what what was your thoughts? Cause you know, like with that song being so big, you know, people singing that shit, posting all type of shit. Like, uh, yeah. does that bother you? No, nah, cause like at the end of the day. I done made a lot of songs like that, but that's just what come with this shit. Like, niggas gonna do shit like that. Like, I know niggas felt some type of way when I made my shit, you know what I'm saying? Either way it goes, this some real shit. Both of them bitches hard, so the world gonna say both of them bitches, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cause you know, some people, some people are like, let the fans be fans and don't care, but some people will be, nah, you know, they get mad at them for liking the song. Who you telling? I don't necessarily get mad, but if you're gonna be a fan, be a fan. Don't try yeah. to be fully on my op or ace my op. Hell no, nah. be a yeah. fan. Listen to both of us. Like, don't be on no, you know what I'm saying, no whole shit. So, do do y'all be having fans like that that really be like picking sides and shit like that? Yeah, yeah. That shit be every second of the second, bro. <laughs> Real shit. That shit be every second of the second, bro. I know they probably be instigating too. Soon as I go Instigating. Live, then, as soon as the motherfucker die up. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You can't win with certain, like, you can't win with this internet shit. You cannot yeah. be the internet, bro, real shit. You can't. Yeah, the, the shit really stupid. Like, say say something happen. You go slide, you get caught, you stupid. You yeah. don't slide, you a bitch. You a bitch. <laughs> like, you can't win with this shit. Yeah. Real shit. So, you know, how is it, like, working with other artists out here? Like, you know, when motherfuckers been into it, is it, like, to the point where, like, motherfuckers got to pick a side, or can people, like, like work with you and then work with somebody you on tour with and just keep it business. Yeah. I ain't that type of nigga. Now, if you own that shit, trying to make yourself own that shit, then yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be that. Like, you feel me? Yeah. I fuck with real niggas. Like, this is Jacksonville shit. They ain't got shit to do with X, Y, and Z out of town, but you got niggas, they so bitch made. They are trying to make, like, out of town artists, they homeboys, and make them on some shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That type shit. So you, you actually had situations where that, where that happened, like people who shouldn't have issues with you act like they got an issue just because, like, who they cool with? Yeah, yeah, but I ain't going to say no names, but there been yeah. a couple of artists, you feel me, that don't even slid in my DM and inbox me about these niggas. I'm like, damn, you really trying to hop with some Jacksonville and shit? Like, you ain't no yeah. street shit going in your, on in your city for you to try to hop in that shit? You know what I mean? That shit be weird as hell. Yeah, I never understood yeah. that shit. Like, it's... It'd be like that in Chicago too. Like majority of people, they understand business and they know like 
Alright, but some people they don't get no fuck. They they realize if you working with them, they look like oh, you, you gotta be yeah. Yeah, yeah. That shit weird to me though, bro. Yeah. But if you trying to be on that, then a nigga gonna be on that with you.